Hey there, Site42 staff, Dr. Theron Sherman here, and today we are reacting to Find Us Alive episode 01 titled The Voice of 107. Make sure to watch the full episode over on the Find Us Alive YouTube channel before we begin. And don't forget to subscribe, lest an errant radiger come skittering out of your walls to deliver the consequences of your inaction. Ooh. And if you want to do the full watch along with me, make sure to become a patron or a channel member at the appropriate tier. On with the podcast. Oh, the signal's coming in. Overwatch Command, this is Site 107. Come in. We hear you. Are we received? Well, you can't hear us. I didn't think so. Yeah. Today is Friday, around hour 1830. We've made rough approximations of the date and time, but due to our present circumstance, it's impossible for us to truly know. We also can't be certain time even functions the same in here as it does on the outside. We are operating on the assumption that it does, if for no other reason than simplicity. And sanity. The engineering department has established day and night cycles using the lights so we can at least simulate a normal circadian rhythm without access to the sun. This endeavor would be more effective if the engineering department would make up their minds about when night and day should be and stop switching in the middle of the night or when I'm trying to broadcast. So disorganized. Adjustment to the present situation has proved a bit difficult. The surviving department heads held a meeting to replace the leadership we lost in the shift and named Dr. Beatrix Klein as acting site director. Dr. Klein formerly served as the head of research, and from what I heard, there was a bit of dissent in opinions regarding her appointment. She has seniority, and no one here can deny what she has contributed to the foundation, but Apparently, some worry about her spontaneity. All of this is secondhand, on account of my lack of invitation to the meeting. Despite my position as head of the communication department, really, Doctor Shao, the liaison for the ethics committee, who was visiting when the shift happened, got to go to the department head meeting. Oof. They are not a department head. Anyway. And now an update on the big spider in my office. Overwatch Command, there is a large spider in my office. Hate that. It lives in the corner behind the door, and it has been there for... Huh. I don't know. I don't know how long. I thought he was going to say it was gone. Well, it's brown. I don't know what kind of spider it is. I'll have to ask research, even though I keep forgetting. Moving on. The botany department has reported a plan to look into growing a renewable food source inside the greenhouse. We might be able to use some vegetable scraps from the kitchen. Marshes on that yell. Another update. It has moved. The spider. <sighs> I thought it might have been dead, but... It is not. I have decided to name it Holland. Harley and Holland, best friends forever. Have fun. Morale is low, the psychology department reports. A few days ago, Dr. Lancaster, head psychologist, declared site-wide that he, Dr. Chapel, and the three interns that make up the department will take on more hours to supply additional therapy sessions to anyone who needs them. Which so far has been the vast majority of us. Who therapizes the this therapist? This decision, of course, does not cover the actual psychology department themselves. Hmm. After all, Dr. Lancaster has expressed no small amount of worry for his own department's mental health, especially considering they had to give up their huge, enormous Red Bull cash to the <laughs> food rationing pile. They can't rely on that to stay up as late as they always do. It's clearly taken a toll on all of them. It was a lot of Red Bull, like a serious shit ton of Red Bull. We go through a lot. At both the gentle advice of Dr. Lancaster and the cold, terrifying demand of our head medical doctor, Dr. Gravit, we are all spending more time in the greenhouse. Lack of the real sun means we have to get our vitamin D from the sun lamps, so visits have gone from strongly suggested to unwaveringly mandatory. 
Lancaster worries we're all going to get even more depressed. Dr. Gravit worries we're all going to become weak and feeble. Yeah. Hmm. The botany department does not seem overly excited at the new reality that they'll have to be sharing their space way more than before. Botanists. I never liked them. Secretive. I think they might be hoarding food that they didn't contribute to the pile. One time, one of them made fun of me because I killed this English ivy I had on my desk. Um, uh, but that's neither here nor there. I think they're shady. And it has nothing to do with my black thumb. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm bored. That makes sense. I realize how tremendously ironic that is, given that I'm sealed in limbo in a scenario that can only be accurately described as, well, science fiction, but nothing has happened. Not, not really, anyway. Besides the food riots. I wanted to do something. I know that's probably asking for trouble, but hey, trouble is better than pff, waiting. It's like that part in movies where you know something bad is going to happen, but it hasn't yet, and you know that the longer you wait, the worse it's going to be when shit eventually hits the fan. <sighs> in other news... Dr. Harley, this is Dr. Klein. Are you preoccupied? Over. I'm in the middle of a record broadcast. What do you need? Over. Research is introducing a particulate into 6320's effect radius. Can you... Wait, they are? Over. Uh, yeah, they are. Over. Uh, can I get eyes on the test? Uh, for the record. Over. Sure, I don't give a shit. Come up to the surveillance office and see if they can remote the feed to your monitor. Over. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Working on it now. Over. Klein, do you want me relaying the test as it happens? Over. We were originally gonna have you just read off Research's report, but uh, if you're here, you might as well. Over. I would much prefer that to reading Research's reports. Yes, over. Uh, copy that, but you'll probably have to read the report afterward anyway. Over. If I have to read one of the reports, please tell them to stop writing vaguely mean things about the records department in them. R records is getting mad at me for reading them on air. Over. I've had it noted in Research's report that, as former head of research, the records department can eat my shorts. Over. Requesting permission to expunge the previous statement from the record. Over. Permission denied. Over. <sighs> Uh, Dr. Klein, is it doing anything? I can't see it. It's blending in with the floor. Over. Not yet, but it's been about ten seconds. Over. Roger that. How long do these usually take? Over. Uh, for that amount, around thirty-two minutes. Over. Wait, like, specifically thirty-two? Over. It's, uh, it's, it's always thirty-two. Over. Minutes? It's always thirty-two something. Uh, minutes, seconds, hours days a couple times uh, before we'd have a fully created instance. Over. So is that how long we have to wait? Over. I don't know. Probably. If it does anything at all. I'd let it do something. So, in the meantime, stand by. Over. Roger that. Over. <sighs> so, now we wait. Oh, shit. I forgot my computer still has Minesweeper. Developments in the test, do you copy? Over. Wake up, Harley. Dr. Harley, do you copy? Over. Harley! No, oh, Harley! <laughs> Object is doing the thing. Over. Uh, what? what? It's doing it, look! Oh. Con <clears throat> continuing test results. It looks like they've put a floodlight on it, maybe so I can see it better. I can see it now. The foreign particulate has shifted into a small copy of SCP 6320's shape. It, it looks almost like a complete dash one now. I I don't know if it's been exactly 32 minutes, but judging by the expressions of the research department in the booth, I think that... That's not a good sound. Dr. Klein, I've lost the feed. What's your status? Over. Dr. Klein, please confirm your safety. Over. It's cool, it's fine. Everything's cool. No one freak out. That was research. We're, uh, we're trying some new tests on the skip. Oh, also, medical to the containment chamber, please. We have a D-class who smacked his head on the floor. I think he's unconscious. Uh, oops. All right. That wasn't too bad a tremor. I don't think anybody should have been injured that severely. We'll find out eventually, I suppose. 
Oh, shit. My mug broke. <laughs> is the spider still there? Look at the dash one. Over. Dr. Klein, this camera is like 50 feet away from the skip. I can't see. Oh. Well, the camera's zooming in. Um, it seems surveillance is equally as curious. Stand by. Oh. This is, uh, very fucking cool. Over. I mean... This is also probably very bad news. Over. What we're seeing down there is that instead of disappearing like they usually do, this Dash 1 has turned into an actual copy of SCP-6320. Like, there's a little rift in the floor now. Looks like a... looks like space inside, but it's maybe a foot long? A little less? I don't know what it's the start of, exactly, but it's a start of something. Now there's two of them. A new lead in our research. And well, that's better than nothing. Deep down, we are people of science. Men and women of discovery. In a manner of speaking, all humans are creatures of discovery, of curiosity, of a sometimes unholy wonder. How philosophical of you. Where would we be as a species without our drive to know? That's all for now, Overwatch Command. This is Dr. Harley at Site 107. Over and out. And to anybody else who might be listening in, find us alive. Okay, so now there's two of them. What could possibly go wrong with two dimensional rifts? That sounds great. Just a little baby one there made a sugar of all things. And then uh, Holland is my new least favorite character in the show. I hope he perishes terribly. Can't believe he survived the food riots. Uh, and the mug didn't survive the test, but he did. So rude of him. Uh, I don't like spiders. It's fine. The greenhouse plan is a good plan. Getting people around plants and stuff like that. That is known to be psychologically helpful. Being around green plants. Go out in nature once in a while. Get some plants in your room. Water them. Do better than Black Thumb Harley over here. And then they should really work in some sort of gentle exercise, calisthenics, that's going to help them maintain their sanity along with you know, managing to eat. You can't do great extreme exercises because they don't want to be burning calories, but they need to stay mobile, otherwise their like bodies are going to fall out of shape and they won't be able to work anymore. And we're at the foundation, we're always working. You gotta wonder about these more informal site directors who have just a little less of a protocol with this stuff going on because you know i guess it's fair you hear a lot about the very uptight site directors everything's very rigid and militaristic but that's not really how people are in the long run you do any job like this long enough and you're gonna get blase about it you're gonna not get all crushed when people die horrible terrible deaths because that's how it is every day and you're going to make fun of the other departments because what else are you gonna do so yeah, overall, uh, we have a, hmm, I don't want to say uneventful, we had that final test, but it was a bit of a quieter episode. Uh, got some good character insight on Harley. Uh, Klein is going to be interesting as the research head and mocking records keeping. That'll be fun. Uh, the botany, that's who we want to watch out for, those botanists, those sneaky, sneaky botanists. You don't, you don't trust them, even if they're trying to do a Martian and get us some potatoes going. Uh, don't trust botany. Unless they're trying to save your life, then trust them to do that, but nothing else. All right. Well, that was episode one of Find Us Alive. And so make sure you're subbed to Site42. Make sure you're subbed to Find Us Alive on YouTube or your favorite podcasting platform. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.